bus trains could cause wind turbulence when passing through. Thank you. Well, good morning, everybody. Today I'm at Vista Village Station. I'm going to get a train to London, and then my intention is to walk a canal walk from Limehouse Basin along the Regent's Canal to King's Cross Station. Now, that might be a bit ambitious. We've had a lot of rain over the last few days, if, as you'll know if you live here in the UK, but I'm pretty sure most of it at least is paved, so uh, we'll give it a go. The next station is High Wycombe. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform when leaving the train. Please ensure that you take all your personal belongings with you when leaving the train. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. See it, say it, sort it. Wembley Stadium. A light here for Wembley Stadium, Wembley Arena and London Designer Outlet. Oyster card users are reminded to touch out on the card reader before leaving the station. is London Marylebone. This train terminates here. All change. Please ensure that you take all your personal belongings with you when leaving the train. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform when leaving the train. Oyster card users are reminded to touch out on the card readers before leaving the station. If you see something that doesn't look right, speak to staff or text British Transport Police on 61016. We'll sort it. See it, say it, sort it. This is London Marathon. This is
So I've actually changed a line. I'm going to get a Hammersmith and City uh, tube train, or probably overground train actually, from Baker Street and go around to Moore Street, see Moore Gate, sorry, and get the train there. Otherwise, if I'd have gone the route recommended, I'd have been on the central line through Oxford Street. It gets a bit busy down there, so I'm going to have a five minute walk down to Baker Street and get the, uh, the Hammersmith and City line there.
find it easier to change at Canary Wharf for your Elizabeth Line services. Any passengers wishing to send your personal bus service and take us from Captain Sam to West Silvertown. Okay, now I've arrived at Limehouse Basin, let me explain what my work is today. So Limehouse Basin here, until 1969, was the Regent's Canal Dock, and it's where the Regent Canal, the canal network of the UK, joined the River Thames. So goods would come in from the Empire into the docks here in London, go up the canal network to Birmingham and places, and manufactured goods from Birmingham would come out from Birmingham, down the canal network to here, out onto the Empire. So we're going to walk hopefully about seven or eight miles along the canal network to King's Cross Station. This is the end of the Regent's Canal and here's where it joins onto Regent's Dock as was, Limehouse Basin as is now and there was a final river lock, big lock anyway, just the other side of this bridge and they're going over the bridge now to the towpath.
One of the things that's already starting to be a problem on this walk is the amount of runners are now all for runners keeping feet and getting exercise, but they don't seem to be very considerate of other users on the towpath. About a guy who almost knocked me over already, you've only been going for about uh, five minutes, so hopefully they'll get a bit more considerate as we move along. Yes, please, that would be a really good idea if you could. There's quite a lot of algae on this canal already. I'm not sure if I want to jump in there. Let's look out those cans and the uh, takeaway containers are floating on the surface, or almost lying on the surface actually, rather than floating. Pretty horrible. So I've switched to using the wireless mic of the Pocket 3 now because it's quite windy and there's a furry thing that goes on there to keep the wind noise down. But you probably hear, hear a bit more of me breathing heavily as I walk along the walk. Uh, apologies for that. And some more runners. And cyclists. Right, two abreast. Sorry, I'll walk on the grass, guys. Okay, no problem. No problem at all. So the thing about this part of the canal network is that it's actually pretty wide. Most of the canals in Britain, or England anyway, are narrow canals. But this, of course, was a canal that linked up with the river and you'd have some pretty large double-width barges coming up from the River Thames. And I think I'm right in saying they'll come up as far as King's Cross. Might be wrong on that, uh, but certainly, certainly a wide canal, much wider than the canals you get in the Midlands where I'm from. That's just a view looking back down towards the basin with the Docklands um, business district or the, the HSBC building and, and, and so on. Canary Wharf, of course. It's a nice place to stop for a coffee and a cake. It's a bit early though, I've only done half a mile so far and I need to earn that so probably get at least four miles into my leg before I'm allowed a coffee and a cake. I'm afraid. <laughs> There's a guy up there sitting on his balcony reading his book, which would be very nice if it was the height of summer. But as it's actually quite windy and cold today, he's uh, pretty hardy. So for anybody watching this not in the UK, Euless is the, the uh, Mayor of London's uh, scheme to ensure that any traf any traffic coming in, any non-commercial traffic coming into London has to be a low emission vehicle and that includes Greater London now which is about 9 million people and it's proved to be very controversial. Well, so far so good with a towpath, it's all gravel and concrete. Walking on the canal anywhere near my home in Oxfordshire this, uh, this day would have been impossible. The amount of rain that we've had has been biblical almost so but hopefully uh, the walk will be like this all the way along. You see what I mean by the white um, barges here, a, a craft like that on the the main canal network would just completely block it almost but here it's not even half the width of the river, canal sorry. And I think it's seen better days. Hello bird, you're quite tame aren't you? Hmm? Sorry if I spooked you. There's your mate over here, look. Hello other bird, are you a moorhen? Sorry if I got that wrong, I'm not very good at birds. 
It's more my wife's department. The canal around here is pretty grimy, urban industrial really, but it's uh, still interesting. So we're passing the mile mark and we'll be getting up to Queen Mary College at Mile End, which might be that directly in front actually. Jogger in front, the lady with the blue rucksack literally nearly knocked me into the canal. Come on guys, let's share the let's share the token, I think. It's pretty low. <laughs> Actually got a boat going through the lock here. I like to watch boat go, boats go through locks. People that do that are called gongoozlers. Yep, that's me, proud to be one. Hello. Yeah, this is all Queen Mary College, student accommodation. I've sold things here in my time selling scientific equipment in my younger, younger life. Part of the University of London. What a great sight that is, a narrow boat going through the lock with Canary Wharf and all the business district behind them. Shame about the, the building. Again, you can see how wide the canal is. There's two narrow boats side by side, which will completely block a, uh, well, most of a conventional narrow canal further up the country. But here it's hardly, hardly halfway across the canal. These are obviously boats people live in as well, year in, year out. And the price of accommodation in London is probably a viable option. Though I'm, still, it's not, I'm sure it's not cheap still. Welcome. As my mother used to say, matters doesn't cost anything. Perhaps I'm old. Yeah, I know I'm old. Another coffee shop. Must resist, only a mile and a half in. Still another two and a half miles to go from that of coffee and cake. I've never seen that before. I assume that's a uh, free air pump for your bike. Yeah. Well, that's good. Did good I idea. Tell you Somebody like me always gets punctures on the bike. It's a really good idea. Coming up to the first bit of mud on the towpath, really. It's going to walk off to the side here. Especially as this woman's chopping wood. I guess the idea of living on a narrow boat is quite uh, an idyllic idea. I know I'd love to have a go, but I guess the harsh reality is of it is how do you keep warm, particularly at this time of year, how do you heat the water, how do you feed yourself, how do you do your laundry, all of those things really. But probably for many of these people that's not a, a career choice or a lifestyle choice, it's a necessity. I'd certainly give it a go for a week or two. <laughs> a lot of activity around here. These guys are off. Yeah, these guys are heading off. I'm not sure what they do about the other boat that's moored up. I'm not sure how that works. This is an interesting looking thing. What's this here then? Phoenix it looks more like a submarine than a boat.
offshore marine engineering, Aldridge. Here's the boat we saw moving off. They're quite quick actually. Okay, we've come to a junction in the canal, so behind me is the Hartford Canal, and that takes you down towards the Queen Elizabeth Park, where the Olympics was, where West Ham United football ground is, over here, carrying on down here, and the way we're going to go now, back down behind me, is carrying on on the Regent's Canal, down towards Paddington. <laughs> No, I did not. <laughs> Quite a bit of activity at this lock. There's a boat coming in and about waiting to come up once this boat comes through. So Haggerston is two miles away and I guess that's where I'm going to stop and have a coffee. Hopefully it'll be somewhere suitable. Great to see everybody out enjoying the um, slightly drier weather. It's cold today. It's the 7th of January today. It's a cold day but mercifully dry after all the rain that we've had. And everybody's gone out and making the most of it, enjoying the, the dry weather, getting some exercise, walking off the Christmas dinners and New Year's party rever reveling, including me. I've got a birthday as well in between those, which also involved me eating a lot of curry. So I now need to get some more exercise. Well, this is interesting. I've got two boats coming down side by side here. Look. Working boats, it seems. Yep, coal and diesel. Afternoon. Anybody wants some used coffee cups? Just a few to choose from. Towpath is really busy now, you walkers, which is great. And, and again, I nearly got knocked into the canal by somebody barging into me while I was taking that uh, bit of video of the photographs over there. And he sent my rucksack flying. Not the place for running, guys. Too many people. Just note down, guys. Not the place to do your personal best. If we die, I 
needs a bit of experience and both are the Quickly detour off the uh, towpath onto the bridge here. Yeah. So Walter Scott rebuilt in 1909. It's a proper London pub. Oh wow, street market of some sort on again. Loads of food options. Now, do I stop here or do I carry on? Two point eight three miles now. I need to go a bit further. Must resist. I suppose next time I could always rent one of these. I'm not sure how they work. Haggerstone one mile, so I think that's where we'll try and find some way to stop and get some lunch. Sure, what that's about. So it's the same here. Yep, probably good advice. Funky looking apartments. Somebody's got a Christmas tree up there. Perhaps they're away. Really not sure what's going on there. Got some sharks. So there's my answer. There's my answer. It's um, a school, a school academy. Very modern looking. We're in the London borough of Hackney, I think, right now. OK, I'll come off the canal here at Haggerston on the 810 because there's a place just down here called Signature Brews, which sounded promising. Now, I'm supposed to be off the beer for Christmas, but one won't hurt me. I'll have to do low alcohol or even no alcohol beers as well. Just go and check it out. Yeah, that sounds promising. Beer. Signature Brew. Doesn't look very open to me. Signature Brew is most definitely closed. Whether it permanently or just because it's Sunday, I don't know. But there is a place down there that looks like it does ramen, and I'm partial to a ramen, so let's go and check that out. That'll do nicely, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, just me, please. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll go right down the side. Thank you very much. Thank you. but I can't eat it all, too many noodles and I've got more walking still to do, really good. Well that ramen was amazing but if you do stop there I'd recommend you get the small rather than the regular, I couldn't finish the regular and I've got a big appetite so probably just go for the small but it was really good, strongly recommend it. Venezuelan kitchen, that's a first for me. So, so I see I've tried to get one as well. That would kind of canoeing down the canal here, braver than me, I'm sure I'd want to fall in. Hello! There's a branch off the canal here, it's not signpost in any way, it just seems to be used as a mooring spot now. I'm not sure if it goes anywhere now, I doubt it. Looks like it's a dead end down there. Well, there's a young pub here, if I hadn't eaten already, that would have been very tempted. The narrowboat, you would have thought of calling it the narrowboat, eh? Look at the menu. Nice. 
That's a dead end down there. It's uh, presumably used to go somewhere, but it's a dead end now under those skyscrapers. You can tell we're coming into Islington now, which is a trendy part of London, judging by the buildings. Getting more and more funky and more and more modern. There's a Christmas tree there as well. Oh, now to have a coffee. I wasn't able to get a coffee earlier. The Japanese place, going to have a coffee here. Yeah, why not? Yeah, which obviously like this. Sorry, thank you. Thank you. So we've come to the Islington Tunnel now. When these were working canals, and before the days of combustion engines, the boatsmen would leg the boats through the canal, and the horses would go over the, the top of the tunnel. So we're going to have to go the way the horses went over the top. So according to Apple Maps, it's going to be a half a mile walk through the streets of Islington now to get back to the canal. Well, after being on the canal, suddenly coming up onto a main busy road here at the Angel Islington is quite a shock, really. Uh, I think I've got to go across the road and to the right. So over where Boots and Leon is across these lights and down to the right. Okay, heading down Liverpool Road. I hope this is right. I feel pretty silly if I'm going the wrong way. Or like, you know, we will be there, but just. Yeah. Right, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh. Eight thirty. According to Apple Maps, I turned right at the end of this road. I'd be quite glad to get out of here, actually. There are a couple of people already propositioned me for, for some money. Um, Sorry if you live here and it's your neighbourhood. I'm quite glad to uh, get off this road now. Seems good advice. And here is that pub. Okay, right here. Pentonville. further on. Left turn coming up now. 
I know because my Apple Watch has started pulsing with the map software. Surely there's a more direct route to get to uh, the other side of the tunnel than this, but this is what I'm doing right now. Okay, this is Maygood Street. Well, that's promising. It says Regent's Canal Walk on that sign there. So hopefully I'm not far away. In fact, I can see a building in the background that says um, Regent's Canal Wharf, so hopefully not far. I wonder if all these people that live here know there's a canal underneath their houses. Ah, uh, here's that boat that was moored up while I was having a coffee. Probably. No, that's the name of the boat. It definitely is the boat, but the name's called Probably. I have to say that wasn't the most attractive part of the walk, but I'm through to the other side of the Islington Tunnel. Uh, I'm not sure if I went the most direct way, but I'm here anyway. So half a mile to go to King's Cross Station. Well, there's mercifully less runners around here, whether it's because it's a quieter neighbourhood or it's getting later in the day or what, I don't know, but it's nice to have a bit of a, a more gentle walk along the towpath without being uh, jostled and nearly knocked into the canal. This building is called the Rotunda here. Um, now, it's not the Rotunda in Birmingham, which is a bit taller, definitely not as new. Seems to be apartments. There's a bar and restaurant here as well. I swish. And moorings all down here to the side as well. So I've come to the end of the line. King's Cross Station is just over there on my right. St Pancras is just behind us, really. Now, we can carry on for another five or six miles with the walk, take you through um, Camden, down through Little Venice, down find as far as Paddington. That's a walk I've done very many times. I'm not going to do that today. The light's dropping. Also, there's a tube stripe on today from five o'clock. I want to make sure I can get back to the station in plenty of time. So I'm going to call it a day there. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.
Mike, can you see the kiosk? Is it gone? Matt, is it gone? Yeah. Is it, gone? Yeah. it was here when I came up. <laughs> This is a great place to come at Christmas. There's usually a big Christmas tree here. Obviously the lights on the tree is still here. Loads of things going on in terms of food, drinks, all that kind of thing. So really cool place. These are obviously uh, wharf buildings for the canal. And uh, yeah, this one's called Coal Drop Yard because obviously this is where coal, as the sign said back there, the most important commodity that was moved around by the waterways. Coal was dropped here, literally. And there was also a ice storage place because uh, before the days of refrigeration, ice was was chipped off in the um, Scandinavian area and brought down by boats and stored in cellars here for for use in making ice cream and other things. Really cool place to come. <laughs>